Okay, we're back. Another weekly recap video. This one not as exciting for me <laughs> as the first uh, three or four. But uh, listen, you know, uh, we're being honest over here, taking the good with the not as good. And there's definitely what to learn over here. So let's get to it, guys. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the video. I'm DD Trader, and we're gonna go over my weekly trades. Um, made four trades this week. Ended up with forty-seven hundred dollars. Um, you know, not too bad. Can't sneeze at that. Um, couple of public service announcements over here. So first of all, you know, I would love if you guys would share your trades with me. Um, I'll show you just you know quickly over here. You just you know take a quick shot of your chart like this. Um, go to copy link to chart image and just go to your Twitter and tweet it to me at help with trading. That's my Twitter account. You know, just paste it in and go DD what's up with this chart and tweet it. So, and that's awesome. And I would love if we could get like a discussion going on, um, build a community, you know, as a trader, you get kind of lonely. So, uh, even though you know, I might have a little bit more experience than you, or even if you have more experience than me, it'd be cool to just like get on the tweets and get going with that. Secondly, okay, the course, the course is amazing. Uh, we're getting a lot of uh, new subscribers. I think we're at 345 to 350 right now. And um, it's really, I'm really so excited about that. Put a lot of work into this course. It's free now to all my subscribers, helpwithtrading.com, check it out. Click the link below. And, um, you know, if you check out this video and you see the kind of um, trades that I'm doing, actually this week um, I did a few M's and W's, which is something that I review in my course in detail. So you'll see that it's even working here and in live time this week, you know, today's February 10th and uh, it's working in real time. So it's something that just really works and you guys should check it out totally in the course and um, get that vibe going. So, yeah, we are, we made, f I made four trades this week. Um, not so proud of my, uh, my middle days, but, uh, you know, we, we got to go over it and check it out. So let's start first with, um, the dollar franc. Now this was a pretty simple trade. Uh, we're here in the one hour and I'm just seeing this like momentum of going up and down off this four hour zone. And uh, the market was going up, really couldn't pass it, pulled down, tried to go up a little again, pulled down to this, you know, support, which was previously resistance around this zone. And, you know, when it did pull up again, I just, you know, got in. Once it passed this area, I won it in. Um, it was one and a half to one risk to reward ratio and never turned back. That was a pretty decent trade, 3,800 bucks. And we're on to the next one. So I want to start here on the four hour to show you what I was thinking. And I really got kind of nailed this week on the dollar JPY. Um, so I was seeing this four hour zone and I saw it being respected over here and then came up and really pushed down hard, um, came up a second time and pushed down hard. And I saw it coming up. And I was, you know, following it, had my alert. And when it finally did get pushed back over here, um, I thought we would get it. I'd get in and it would be another like, you know, kind of like a, a double top, something like this. Um, didn't happen. Let's go down to the one hour. Yeah. So you see the four hour resistance that I was really um, kind of respecting. And even on the one hour, I was seeing somewhat of a, like a head and shoulders pattern. So here's the lower left shoulder, then the head, maybe it's this. And then this one seemed like the right shoulder. Okay. Now, and it, it did have like that bearish engulfing candle. This was a nice little order wick, um, bearish. And I just thought we'd at least go down to here and we didn't. And, this one I got out around break even. I don't know if you could see it over here, like that little red line over there. That's kind of where I got out. And, um, that was 86 bucks. So 
but I didn't give up on this pair and I really thought that it was going to go down. So once it shot up again and got pushed down with another bearish couple of candles, you no, know, I went in again, this time going for the two to one. Um, I covered over this wick over here and uh, I was just wrong. Um, <laughs> you know, it happens. I was seeing the market as like going to be pushed down um, on this four hour resistance, but the market was just going up, you know, and having higher highs and higher lows. And even though I saw the rejection here and the rejection here and this rejection, I was wrong and, um, you know, lost $2,900 on that one. So that was like over a day and a half. So it's having a tough week. Um, then today I kind of, you know, saved grace and made a few thousand dollars. Um, and you could see that here over on the New Zealand dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And uh, the market pushed up past this support resistance point, pulled back to retest, went up, pulled back again. And that looked to me like the double bottom that I like, you know, when the market's going up and then it pulls back down, tries one more time, pulls back down pretty much again to the same point, pretty close and then goes up. So that was the double bottom and got in over here. Now I wasn't sure over here where I wanted to get out because I had these tops over here. This is an hour chart. So this is one, two, three, four hours, five hours, uh, where it really was getting stuck four of them over here and then one over here. So even though I did kind of target for more than two to one, this point, I did, I was wary of this area and therefore um, I traded 25 lots and I got out at with 20 lots at this point. So, uh, which was almost two to one. And then I held the rest of it um, to the end, you know, five lots, made another 850, $880 or something. And then like kind of right after that, we had um, the dollar news, you know, in the next few hours. So just pushed down, go to, went up and down. Um, but I was trading before that. I didn't think it would make a big difference. So another W and uh, that's it guys. I think, uh, you know, it's not every week that I can make uh, 11,000, 14,000, 19,000 hours. It's been an amazing month. Um, one of my best ever. And you know, 4,700 bucks is gonna, is gonna make it. I'm totally happy with this. Um, I think I definitely was seeing them, you know, the dollar yen wrong. And then maybe I shouldn't have even traded that second time. Cause that's what happens a lot of times with traders that, you know, um, you don't want to get in too quickly after a trade that you lost because you're so biased, like, no, no, it's really going to, um, go down because it hits that four hour resistance. And I know it didn't work the first time, but it's going to work now. So I really try to stay away from that. You know, sometimes I do get in after, but um, I definitely try to be as open-minded as possible, which is not so possible <laughs> when you're a trader. So it didn't work for me this week. Um, life goes on and we're going to hit the charts next week. So just to summarize, I wanted to do this video, even though it wasn't as successful as the previous weeks. And, um, you know, if these videos are giving you value, I know that, you know, my subscribers to the channel and the course, they're definitely going to see value in real time to see how I'm performing on these trades, you know, what I'm teaching in the course. So that's for sure. So you definitely want to hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel for you guys. Um, you know, and all you newcomers, you know, welcome aboard and uh, check out this channel. I'm going to go over these trades. I'm going to have a lot of trading psychology videos and other cool stuff coming out. So definitely check it out. All right. Till next time. DD out.